Welcome to Husqvarna at Home. I'm Thomas King. Today we're going to dive into the topic of core drill accessories. I bring up this topic because I'm on the phone often with contractors or dealers on how to get a job done. And this can, these accessories can help you avoid next day air freight or allow you to get your job done with what you have. But it's important to know what's available and know what to have in stock. So you can get your job done to help your customers get theirs done. Or if you're on the job site, be more productive. So I really like to call these core drill opportunities. We're going to cover six of these today. So let's get into a little bit about core drill. We're not going to cover core drilling. We'll cover that on a different episode. What we're looking at today is this will be a handheld core drill. This is Husqvarna's DM220. It's rated for a four inch core or six inches if mounted on a rig. What we're looking at today is the Arbor. This is a 5 8 11 standard for handheld core drills. The other type is what we call rig mounted or a stand drill. This is our DMS 240, rated for up to a 10 inch bit. What we're looking at today is the one and a quarter inch. This is a standard Arbor size for core bits that'll come into play as we look at these accessories. The first item we're gonna talk about is our two inch spacer. This is our rig stand we talked about earlier. And our core motors and stands are shipped together to drill up to a certain size capacity. When you, when you need to go beyond that, what you'll find is the core bit doesn't have enough clearance to hit the stand. That's where the spacer comes into play. So simply loosen and remove the motor. You place the two inch stand into place. Tighten and slide your motor right back into place. This allows clearance for the, the bit to not hit the stand. Our next accessory is an adapter. We talked earlier about armor size. A handheld core drill standard is 5 8 11. Our larger is an inch and a quarter. Sometimes you need to run and cross run a bit with a, a motor. This is an adapter that allows you to go from inch and a quarter to 5 8. So you can run a smaller bit on a larger motor. This is key as all one and a half inch core bits come with a 5 8 11 inch arbor. So by simply screwing this in, we can now put our larger core bit and get to going. This allows you to use the core drill you have in stock to get another job done. Our next accessory is our quick anchor tool. We'll cover more in the core drilling episode, but what this allows you to do when you go to anchor and put it down to the drop anchor rather than having to make multiple revolutions to tighten down a regular nut. In three or four revolutions, once you get it to the drop anchor, you're done, set, and ready to drill. Once you're done drilling the hole, simply back it out, again, three or four revolutions, and go on to the next hole. This is a great add-on accessory when you sell a tool, or it's a great point of difference for your rental fleet to let your customers know what's out there. If you've ever had to replace a core bit from a core, core drill, you know, sometimes that can be a challenge that they might get into a bind. So I like to highlight our quick release washers. We make that in a metal reusable. It's going to go between the core bit and the core drill itself. So when it comes time to take it off or if you're on a job site to change core, core bit to go from a two to three to four, it's a much, much smoother transition. We also make this in a disposable. This is great for a rental fleet. So as the drill comes back, if the bit's on it, you can have your tech move on to the next job quicker rather than standing on two pipe wrenches to try to get these separated. The next accessory we're going to cover is slurry removal. Husqvarna makes six different sizes according to the core bit size to get your job done. The way this works, you place the slurry ring where you're going to drill your hole. This is a wet process creating slurry. As the core bit's hooked up, it lowers through the hole and all the slurry is captured inside the hole or on the surface within this rubber gasket. This is hooked to a, a slurry back, carries it away, keeps your job site much cleaner, and makes it more efficient. Again, we make this in six different sizes. The last item we're going to cover is our WT-15. This is a great battery water tank that's rechargeable, four and a half gallons. It has two speeds and keeps nice constant pressure on your tool. It comes with a quick connect that can also hook to a power cutter when needed. Thank you for your time today. I hope you found this information helpful. Remember to look back for the information slides that have a little more detail. 
So I hope that you found something that you can take and offer to your customers, or make sure you keep in stock to make your customer experience that much better. This video can be found on the Husqvarna at Home YouTube channel for later reference.